Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to review this X Force Varix exhaust. It is one of the only options for your 11 to 14 Mustang GT. <laughs> and as you can see, fitment is one of the issues. So this is everything out of the box here. Get the nice muffler, they're pretty big too. Varix on there. Uh, should be a simple axle back install. Should be. Um, and then you have to wire these through the car. Give this box here. I don't know where I'm going to look at. I have to look at the instructions. Everything's supposed to be plug and play. It is an active system. So look, there is a flap in there. Oh, my pants are open. Just rip my drawers. Alright, so y'all can see that flap. Once I hit the button, and it opens up. What you do is that will open and close my exhaust, make it quieter or louder. Um, this thing, I mean, I gotta always kind of pull this up. The clamps, it doesn't come with any clamps or anything like that. What I can say is that it does come with, with just the hanger here. This little clamp on hanger that goes around the muffler. And then there's one hanger in the back. But the issue is the clamp there that, that clamps in on here, doesn't always stay the tightest for some reason, or it is tight, but we're gonna start it with it open, and then we're gonna start it with it closed, and then we're gonna rev it open, rev it closed, and then we'll do some little flybys with both. So you can hear the difference. Though, all right, go ahead, start it again. Big difference. Now, give it a little rev, you can barely hear it, but well, you can hear it, but still. <laughs> Install wasn't too bad with this. Um, the main, the hardest thing to install is getting your your factory stuff off. But also the fitment. As I was going back, as I go back to fitment, this muffler is huge, so it kind of hits. As you can see, it's hitting on here, and from the top, it hits as well. You guys kind of can't see it. It hits um, the body of the car, like the on this side. This side is pretty good. It never moves pretty much. Um, it pretty much stays here but I don't know it's, it's kind of hard so I'm gonna have to get another exhaust hanger my thoughts on everything with this exhaust is that it is an easy system to install it's not too intricate if you can get your old exhaust off um, the fitment of it is the only thing that's kind of uh, not the greatest. Um, like I said, it hits the body of the car. If the muffler is big and it kind of just, it's hard to get the fit right on top of it only having one exhaust hanger that comes with the kit. And then it's just the clamp that clamps onto your over axle pipe. Uh, it's not the most convenient um, as far as uh, when I hit a lot of bumps and stuff, you'll see the, the tailpipe will actually start drooping down on one side as opposed to the other one. The other one that fits a little better, it comes out a little bit, not too much. Um, but like I said, it's not that hard to install. The wiring, it's all plug and play. You just wire it up through your car, through your trunk and everything, it's easy. So the price might be something that scares some people away from it. But if you're somebody who likes to control your exhaust, you can't always be as loud as possible uh, like you want to it may be an option for you and when it's wide open and uh, when i'm really on the gas it sounds just like how it did before it had the muffler on there so when we started in the morning and i got the flaps closed it's just as quiet so it's up to you if you'd like to purchase this exhaust um i'll put the link in the bio if you'd like to watch the video that's playing in the back i'll put that link in the bio as well if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh, browse the channel for more and most importantly have a nice day